Well, I guess it was probably a wise decision for Indonesia Rajawali to try something a little different in the men's doubles, different combination. Because yesterday, Rian Agun Saputra playing with Pratama. So the scoreline was quite close against Marcus Kido and Hendra, 31, 21, 14, 21, 17. Perhaps they just feel that something completely different. They won't necessarily have experience of playing against this particular combination and therefore won't know tactically exactly what to do. But having said that, I know the Indonesian players, although some are independents, of course, Alvin Ulianto Chandra, he's an independent player. Luchok Sugiato looks pretty happy, even though his son, Tommy, lost the first match of today's final. Well, Mohamed Hassan and Bona Septano despite being number six in the world ranking, which is incidentally the highest ranking that they've achieved. This week spending their 23rd week at number six in total. But I haven't so far this year in individual competition progressed further than a quarter final. And that for a number six ranked pair is perhaps a bit of a disappointment. Son and Bona Septino will turn 25 later on this year. Both of them have a birthday in September. That's a super return of sound from Alvin Julianto Chandra. He's got a couple of medals from the Asian Games with two different partners, a silver and a bronze. Silver, of course, with Luluk Hadianto and bronze in Guangzhou in 2010 with his opponent of today, Mohamed Hassan. opinion, Alvin Julianto has been one of the most underrated men's doubles players in recent times.
service fault called. And Racket not facing in a downward direction. They haven't played international competition before. Look to be a well oiled partnership at the moment. Alvin Yulianto and Anga Pratama. short rallies at the moment. Well, you can't afford to hit anything loose to Alvin Julianto. He'll be on it like a shot. Sped up if Pratama had let that go through to his partner. Trying to take the shuttle when he'd have gone past him at the net. Oh, good serve. Perfection. Takes them to the mid-game interval with a two-point advantage. Julianto and Pratama for Indonesia Rajawali. Brilliant. Well, he couldn't have walked over to the other side and placed it any better than that. still not getting any real rallies here it's all very very short either an early winner or an early mistake mm, well he was faulted earlier on on his serve and he seems to have lost a bit of rhythm a bit of confidence perhaps as well just wide well it was certainly the right idea all oh, good
there, a bit of aggression from Septano. Oh, it's gone well wide. Into the lead for the first time in this opening game, Asan and Septano. his wrist at the very last moment there. Mohamed Hassan to play the block. attacking play. Whichever team can get the shuffle going in a downward direction. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a rally. defense initially from Mohamed Hassan. Seventeen all. Yeah, I think he was distracted by Hassan coming forward to the net. He knew he was a threat. Perhaps had to change his mind, Pratama. That's why he made the error. Opened up a two-point cushion at this crucial stage. Good response, especially from the youngster Pratama. said he was a player that would always pounce on anything loose and a back level 19 all well the margin between success and failure absolutely tiny that shuffle hit the top of the net but fell back Julianto's side 
and it means that Indonesia, Garuda, have gained points. Ah, but that's well saved. What a good return of serve. 20 all, and we will require extra points until there's a clear two-point winning margin. Helped by the net cord from Septano. Second game point opportunity. And the second time, it's saved. Well, the umpire being very generous to allow players a timeout to towel down, take on board some liquid. Well, it's 21 all in the opening game. Saved two game points. Now Indonesia, Rajawali have a game point themselves. And they take it on their first opportunity. The untried and the untested partnership of Alvin Lulianto Chandra and Unga Pratama beat the world number six ranked pair in the opening game 23 21 Well, Team Indonesia Rajawali obviously felt it was worth trying something completely different. And my goodness, how well it worked for them in that opening game. Alvin Yulianto Chandra and Unga Pratama taking the opening game against the world number six ranked pair, Mohamed Hassan and Bona Septonol. Well, can they keep that going? Lovely, great disguise. Well, early signs, and I know it is very, very early, but early signs are that the World Championship bronze medalists from last year. Oh, what a phenomenal shot from Bona Septino. Well, it looks to me as if they've decided to 
up their games, perhaps a little too cautious in the opening game. Certainly started this second with a different attitude. opportunity Goodness, he very nearly got it back. No, it's a clever serve. Serve is short of the mark. Got to push through the shuttle more. Serving towards that far side of the court. Oh, good judgment. So to the mid-game interval, the more established pair with the advantage. Fans absolutely love their badminton here in Indonesia. But the question in hand at the moment is whether the world number six ranked pair, Mohamed Hassan and Bona Septino, can keep this advantage and push it home to send this to a de deciding game. Oh, that was going out. Yeah. Julianto just saying to his partner exactly what I've just said. Uh, 
there's been a couple of times in this match that the youngster, Anga Pratama, taken one or two shots that he perhaps should have left for his partner. Good smash, good placement. He's such a thoughtful player. Oh. Well, it was an ambitious attempt. And there was a gap across court. But technically so difficult when you're under pressure to play that shot and then most of the time you do make an error on that. Three points away from the third and deciding game. Oh, yes, that's nice. Well, they had two game point opportunities in the opening game. They couldn't convert here in the second. And they've actually got eight game point opportunities. So indeed, we have a third and deciding game. One game all in the men's doubles, as you can see, confirmed one game apiece. So the players return to court in the men's doubles, the final of the Axiata Cup. One game apiece. Indonesia, Rajawali with their scratch partnership. There he is, Alvin Ilianto Chandra. And his young partner, Anga Pratama, took the opening game, having saved two game points, 23-21. And then the World Championship bronze medalist from last year, Mohamed Hassan and Bona Septeno. Hit back, taking the second, 21-12. Well, it's been a good start to the decider by the pair representing Indonesia, Rajawali.
too long. Well, well we're going to see a major upset here. Are certainly hoping that the Arajawali team can level this second leg. Final played over two days, two legs of competition. First competition yesterday, first leg. Indonesia, Garuda, 1 3 Alam. Another service error from Mohammed Hassan. He really hasn't found his rhythm at all after that early call of a fault on his low serve. such vision as a player sees the gaps instinctively knows where to hit the shuttle just long of the back line and our son and Septimo will be mightily relieved about that desperately need to try and close this gap before the change of ends because it appears that both pairs prefer playing from that far side of the court that's where they've enjoyed more success Aggressive, positive play from Alvin Yulianto Chandra and Anga Pratama. Thoroughly deserve their seven point advantage here in the deciding game as the players change ends. Well, I have to say, Mohamed Hassan and Bono Septino have not had the best of years so far. An individual competition, the best they've mustered so far was a quarter final in All England. Twice lost in the second round, once lost in the first round. Certainly not the sort of form that took them to the World Championship bronze medal and the Southeast Asian Games gold medal both last year. Well, they need to react and they need to react fairly quickly, change things around, change the momentum of this deciding game. A clever smash once again from Julianto. Nicely done. When he's on form, 
Mohamed Hassan does remind me an awful lot of Hendra Setiawan. His control and vision from the front of the court. My goodness, total confusion in the Garuda camp, both leaving it to the other. Well, they're a very established pair. This is their sixth year together, playing regularly on tour since 2007. You don't often see them at sixes and sevens like that. The placement of Yulianto's smashes is just remarkable. Time and time again. It's not looking at one of the fastest smashes in the game, but probably one of the best. It's placement perfect so often. Well, this now is a nine-point advantage. Make that 10 point advantage. Well, well, well. I guess the answer is they were really weren't allowed to do so. Such was the good play of Yulianto and Pratana. backswing of the racket from Unga Pratama. Stretched up high, guided the shuttle down with very little racket head movement. Good return of serve. Short, yeah, got what it deserved. But surely, too little, too late. A nine point deficit. And it's landed in, clearly in. And now, ten match point opportunities for Indonesia Rajawali oh it's just gone wide Oh, 
the long. They're breathing heavily. It's hot and humid here in Jakarta. And very hot with a packed stadium. Two match points saved. match points have come and gone and another seven remain for Rajawali and this time with the luck of the net cords Rajawali team of Alvin Yulianto Chandra and Anga Pratama take a point to level this second leg of the final at one match apiece. Their confirmation of the overall tie score, it is one all.